Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, glory due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekar Gwadash. Yahweh is the only true name of the Heavenly Father. Bahashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the only name of his son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And Rekar Gwadash is the Spirit Holy, which is the Holy Spirit. All right, Yahweh the Father, Bahashem in the name, Yahweh Shai, his son. Um, Rechar Kodash and the Holy Spirit. Um, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. To the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations, and to the very few sisters that listen and learn. All right, to you, Shalom. All right, just gonna. Um, Hop into this quick lesson. I was uh, watching um, the Apostle Tahar and Apostle Ramlop going into the one female talking about um, that God only basically hated Esau, not the people, just Esau, the individual. All right. And how Esau is Ishmael, which that's complete madness. All right. That's complete madness. All right, so we're going to touch first on Malachi, the first chapter. We'll start at one. The burden of the word of Yahweh to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith Yahweh. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Saith Yahweh, yet I loved Jacob and I hated Esau. Okay, now that's plain. You don't need nothing to break that down. Let's continue on reading. And laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, we. All right. Who? We are impoverished. And we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom Yahweh hath indignation forever. And the what? The people. So this, so when it speaks about Esau, Edom, it's speaking about the entire nation, just like in the scriptures when it speaks about Israel or Jacob, you know, it's speaking of who the Israelites, same thing with Esau. So this is speaking of the people, the descendants of Esau. All right. It's, um, you know, as a matter of a fact, um, it says that they're going to return and build the desolate places. All right. Let's take a look at this. Um, what is that? I think it's Ezekiel. 35. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel 35 and 1. Moreover, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. So, wait, we're we supposed to prophesy against a, a land? No. So, prophesy against the people. And who's the people of that land? Esau, Edom, the Edomites. All right, because um, when you read it, it tells you what they have did, right? Let's just read a little bit in here. It says, And say unto it, Thus saith Yahweh God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. Right, did we not read in the Malachi? It says that they should build, and he was going to throw down. He was going to make the their, um, what does it say? It says their heritage waste uh, uh, of the dragons of the wilderness, right? It says, verse 4, I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh. Because thou hast, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword, and the time of their calamity, and their time their iniquity had an end. 
Therefore, as I lay, as I live, saith Yahweh, God, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. All right, and their perpetual hatred ever since Jacob um, received the blessing, you know, that perpetual hatred is still to this very day. All right. Who hates you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans the most? Are these Edomites, these so-called white people? All right, that's that's the obvious. All right, that's nothing, no secret. All right. It says, um, yeah, so I wanted to get the land, right? So let's go to, um, let's go to Mount Seir, which would be, um, Petra, right? So modern um, Seir is modern day Petra. Now, I want you to play, play, uh, pay real close attention to the architecture. What does that look like? This is this is where Esau. The Edomites, Edom, lived. As a matter of fact, let's get um. I believe it's Genesis thirty-six and what now? These are the generations of Esau, who is Edom. So Esau is Edom. All right. Wait a minute. How could Esau be Ishmael when verse three says what? It says, and but Bashemath, but Bashemath, Ishmael's daughter, sister of Nebaioth, and a a a bad bear to Esau, Eliphaz, and Math bear Riel. So how the hell is Esau the the Arabians, which they go back to Ishmael when Esau took one of Ishmael's daughters and had a child with? That makes absolutely no sense. So how could Esau be a people and then he um has a child with his own daughter. No. All right. You had Abraham, Ishmael, and Isaac, which, hey, these, the Arab, these Arabs, the Arabian people, whatever, they know they go back to Ishmael. They know that. So how is the so-called white man Ishmael? That makes absolutely no sense. It's actually a retarded, um, uh, uneducated answer it's really just it's really uh shows you don't have no understanding of the scriptures but i want to jump down to verse eight it says thus dwelt esau in mount Seir. esau is edom and these are the generations of esau the father of the edomites in mount Seir. so esau is edom and Esau dwelt in Mount Seir. So when we go back to that Ezekiel, all right, who was uh, he told to prophesy against Mount Seir, the Edomites, the people, all right? So then now let's go back to the land. This is what it looks like. This is Mount Seir where Esau dwelt, right? Now, who builds like this? Now, we know Esau ruled um, as the Greeks through uh, Alexander, all right, the the um, whose father was Philip the Macedonian. Then you had Alexander the Great, all right, which brought in um, the main 
rulership along with his four generals, etc. Right? That's when you could say the, the blessings of the fatness of the earth and um, you should, um, um, how is it says? It says, by thy sword thou shalt live. When Esau really, truly got his blessing of the earth, right? Through Alexander the Great. And then, um, the, and then the time period of the Greeks until the Romans. Like, all right, look at, look at the architecture. Now let's go to, let's just type in Greeks. Let's get some images. Let's just see what pops up. Just freestyling right now. Oh, would you look at that? Now, you got these these pillars, right? Check that out. That one picture's a little blurry. Yeah, you got those pillars, right? Would you look at that? It's damn near the exact same architecture. Why is that? Because it's from the same people. All right, the same the same people. Now let's type in Rome. Because it said what? That he was gonna return and built the desolate places. So what did Esau do? He came back and he, he built back up his home. The desolate places. Wait a second. Now this is a Colosseum. Let me see the Colosseum. Do I got a picture of it? Here it is. That's where they used to have the gladiator fights, etc. Right? Let's go back to Mount Sierra. What did I see over here? I seen something over here. Where is it at? I could have sworn I just seen it. Oh, would you look at that? What does that look like? That looks like a little mini uh, coliseum, a little small theater, right? The exact same thing, right? You got the pillars as well, right? Let me type in. Um, fast forward to today. Check this out. This is over here in Chicago. This is called uh, the Soldier Field. This picture is pretty bad. But on Lakeshore, they don't got a picture of it from Lakeshore. You can kind of see it. It's on both ends. But you got the pillars right there. You got the pillars. So this is basically a, ginorm a ginormous coliseum. All right. For the sporting events. All right. Um, let me see. Um, let me type in... Um, Oh, crap. No wonder. Let me type in. Um, some Chicago art museums. No, it's not the Chicago Art Museum. It's. um. Even though this still looks like a building in Rome, but the other um, museum has the uh the pillars in the front i think it's the science let me see i'm just going to type in chicago museum here it goes it's called the field museum you're trying to tell me this ain't rome all over again all right you got the same architecture why because esau returned and built the desolate places let's see um
Let's go to the Washington, D.C. What do you see? Rome. All right. You got some Egypt in here, too, with the Obelix. But look at the White House. What do you see? You see the pillars. So a way to tell the people or the who lived in the place was by the architecture because the architecture goes back to the people. All right, there go some more pillars. Same thing Esau did in his home, all right? So, let me grab this as a matter of fact. Um, Second Ezra 6 and 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So right now, Esau is the one that is, is ruling. You don't see no Ishmael ruling. All right. If if Esau was the, the, the Ishmaelites today, the, the Arabians, they wouldn't be getting bombed by the little hats and, you know, going through what they're going through. They'll be the ones in rulership, which they're not the ones in rulership. All right. There's so many ways to go around this, but, you know, I um, stuck more to the uh, architecture of of Esau's ancient home. All right. They that dwelleth in the cleft of the rocks, like it says in Obadiah. All right. And then taking that architecture and comparing it to the architecture today will let you know what Esau Edom is the so-called white man. He did the same thing in in uh, during the time of the Greeks, his same architecture during the time of the Romans, his same architecture today. All right. Your capital, Washington, D.C., some of these sports arenas, etc. All right. There's nothing new under the sun. Esau Edom is the so-called white man, which is really red. How willing this was edifying to next time. Shalom.